everyone today we are going to look at a new palette i created this is a palette of uh, muted colors muted tones their inspiration for it was um kramer pigments earth set and uh, as you can see there are only three bright uh, colors here which are primary rich green gold which i uh, use instead of nickel as a yellow it will be my primary yellow cobalt blue and rudonite the rest are more muted so uh, let's look at that so it's a palette of uh, 26 colors i put uh, the colors in my daniel smith uh, watercolor palette so uh, let's watch the palette and see the colors so the first uh, color i chose is uh, buff titanium p w6 column one i like this color a lot and i think it's a great mixer i like it uh, with uh, lunar violet and lunar blue and the blue appetite genuine it's very soft and beautiful our next color is monte amiata natural sienna it's a pbr7 all the colors in this palette i think i forgot to mention are daniel smith watercolors i'm sorry about the noise my cat wants uh, to come in to this room and I don't let them. Let's put a bit more. So the Monte Amiata will be uh, my earth yellow. Next color will be Goetite Brown Ochre. P Y forty three. I really like the granulation of this color, and it's very good uh, to create some texture um, of sand or um, texture of uh, stones like rocks. And I really like it. I want to put a little bit more. It will be more obvious the granulation. Next color is um, Italian Deep Ochre PY 43. It's a color that I don't use a lot. It was uh, in my uh, studio palette and it's not any longer because I have many colors. And um, I wasn't sure if uh, I will use it enough, but uh, I decided um, to put it in this palette because I wanted also to try to use more colors I don't use enough. So uh, yeah, I will see how much I use it. I already painting uh, painted the uh, landscape uh, painting with this palette. And actually, I uh, used it a little bit. Next color is uh, Quinacridone Burnt Scarlet, PR206. It's a color I really like. It's kind of uh, a warm uh, earth red. It's quite reddish. And I wanted it to be also my... Um, a uh, warm red in this palette it's brighter than uh, other earth reds so yeah i thought it will be great i like it so much it's so beautiful next color will be sedona genuine you remember uh, I bought it not very long ago and I use this color a lot I really love it 
it's really useful for me i wanted the uh, both to use it on its own in this palette and both as a granulating color to mix uh, with the Queen Burns uh, Scarlet because Queen Burns Scarlet isn't supposed uh, to granulate also here I think maybe it is a little bit we'll see later when it's dry Next color we look at is um, Mummy Backside. This is uh, a natural uh, iron oxide. It's a cremate color of uh, Daniel Smith. And I like a lot both the color and the granulation. It's a color I use a lot and for a really long time already. And it's a staple in most of my palettes. And it's very close in you to Italian burnt sienna. Let's put a bit more water because I like its granulation. Okay, next color will be a hematite burnt scarlet, also a staple in my palette. I put it almost in every palette that I have. I like both its granulation and the color itself. It's also a primate color and it's a color I use a lot, almost in every painting very useful for me put just a bit more in the mass tone and just a bit more water very beautiful it has some uh, black uh, granulation with some uh, brown in the maston and some peachy brown um, uh, when diluted i really like it next color is uh, piamontite genuine again it's a primatech of uh, daniel smith I was debating if to put it or uh, Indian Red or Luna Red Rock and I decided uh, at the end to put this color because it's interesting uh, granulation and also it's red uh, undertone. It's a color even though I like it a lot, I don't use it enough so i wanted uh, to have a reason to use it more so i put it in this palette very beautiful color yeah i like it a lot you can see the red uh, undertone that it has it's very beautiful I also thought that uh, it could be some kind of an earthy cool red because it has some uh, coolness when it's diluted and yeah I thought it will be interesting and also as a granulating uh, color for texture next color is rhodonite I wasn't sure at the beginning if I want to put it or not and at the end I wanted to put it. Uh, this color, this uh, palette I uh, developed it slowly, it took me something like uh, two weeks. And uh, I'm very happy with uh, it right now. 
I wanted uh, again a color that I don't use enough but it's a cool red and not bright as a Queen Aquadon because uh, this character, the character of this uh, palette. Next color will be um, Lunar Violet. Again, a very beautiful color that I use a lot. more use it uh, usually for shadows and as a neutral tint and yeah I really love it it's really great color and I like it also as I said before, uh, with neutral tint. In this palette, I use it also um, as part of uh, some kind of... Um, um, I don't remember the name of it. Moon Glow. I create some kind of Moon Glow um, with other colors that we'll see later. Next color is uh, Bloodstone Genuine. I forgot to say that uh, Rudonite is a Primatek. Uh, Luna Violet is with PBK11 and PV15. And uh, Bloodstone is um, a genuine color, a Primatek of Daniel Smith. I really like uh, Bloodstone. I use it quite a lot, almost in every mix. Use it both as, as a dark and uh, as a mixing color. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, it's a violet -y, muted violet -y undertone. It's really great uh, color. Next color we look at is uh, Van Dyke Brown of Daniel Smith, PBR7. Again, a color I use a lot. It's not in every palette. It's, it is in my uh, studio palette. And I use it uh, really a lot. I like uh, to mix with it uh, three barks with this and uh, with the uh, Sodolite Genuine. I think it's a really great color. It mixed a bit with... Uh, Mummy backside, but it will be okay. It will be beautiful. And we put to add some more water so we'll see it's a beautiful granulation. Yeah, I really like uh, this color. Next color is something uh, I mixed. It's uh, both Tiger Eyes Genuine, the Burnt Tiger Eyes Genuine and the regular Tiger Eyes Genuine. And it's leaning more to the regular Tiger Eyes Genuine. I really love the granulation of the Burnt uh, Tiger Eyes Genuine and the goo of the Tiger Eyes Genuine. So, uh, yeah, wanted to put them together. One moment, I will clean it. Okay. Yeah, very beautiful color. I really love it. Well, I, I love all the colors. Of course, as you know, I say it all the time. It doesn't have a, a strong uh, tinting strength. But uh, yeah, I really love uh, the granulation and it's muted uh, you. It's really great. Next color is uh, Burnt Amber PBR7. It's a staple on 
in all of my palettes I wasn't sure if to put it in this palette and uh, but at the end uh, I decided um, that it's a color that uh, I prefer not to live without it's a color that I really use a lot it's very beautiful uh, I use it a lot uh, with a uh, cobalt blue or ultramarine blue to create uh, some uh, darks and yeah I like it a lot also like it's a uh, beautiful granulation next color uh, is rich green gold I decided to use it instead of uh, nickel as a yellow because it's less bright and I thought it will be interesting to play with it so yeah I chose it and I like it a lot with uh, zoisite genuine I did a small mistake one moment okay I like it a lot with zoisite genuine and they work really well together And I use it with uh, some um, um, with Mummy Backside or with Sedona Genuine to create this um, um, Queen uh, Gold uh, U instead of Queen Acrodon Gold that I use a lot when I paint. So. I used it today and it worked uh, really well so yeah uh, rich green gold is py uh, 129 next color is also a staple it's undersea green of daniel smith it is uh, made of po48 py 150 which is queen Aquadon gold and with um, um, ultramarine blue PB29 so yeah I clean my brush next color is Zoicide Genuine a color that I love a lot I really love its uh, muteness and uh, its uh, amazing granulation color that uh, I don't use a lot enough because usually I use other greens like perling green and I wanted uh, to use it more so that's why I put it in this specific palette and yeah I like I love uh, the granulation it's enough next color is uh, rare green earth again a color that I don't use enough and I love it it's beautiful oh, sorry again beautiful granulation very dark mixes really beautifully with uh, rich green gold and yeah I love it so the brightest uh, greens I have uh, in this palette are rich green gold One moment rich green gold and um, the next color which is terra verta put it now 
Tarverta uh, I forgot to say that Rare Green Earth is PG23 Tarverta is a combination of uh, Radian PG18 and an Amber I think it's PBR7 uh, but uh, if I am not mistaken on the tube it's written a uh, natural raw amber uh, so I don't know but it's a PBR7 because it look it looks more like uh, some kind of uh, raw sienna with uh, viridian and not uh, raw amber Okay, I'll clean my brush. Next color is a, a color I was debating about. It's Sleeping Beauty Genuine. It's also a color that is not on my studio palette. And I wanted to play with it more. I love it. It's granulation and... I didn't want uh, to put cerulean blue because I thought it's too bright and uh, Sleeping uh, Beauty is a bit more muted I also like a triad of uh, Rudonite, Sleeping Beauty and Goita Genuine and I like uh, to play uh, to paint with this uh, triad and I uh, like uh, to create some kind of a uh, misty morning uh, of uh, Roman small, a dupe for it with Sleeping Beauty and Rudonite. Next color is also a staple in my palette. It's a Blue Appetite Genuine. It's a color I use a lot. I preferred uh, in this palette this color than uh, Luna Blue, which are, is very close close in hue. Um, because Luna Blue uh, in its separation is uh, quite uh, bright because you you see the PB15 uh, stronger when it separates. Next color is Cobalt Blue. I usually use ultramarine blue and I wanted uh, to play more with cobalt blue which I love its granulation and its softness it's the PB28 cobalt blue and yeah I like it it's very beautiful Next uh, color is a staple. It's a uh, Sodola Genuine. I put it on almost every palette that I have. It's a color I use a lot as a dark and for moody skies and for moody sea. I like it a lot. I also like it as a mixer. I think it's a great mixer. Okay, next color is uh, a color that uh, I didn't like at the beginning. Or oh, it's not that I didn't like, I just didn't uh, uh, fell in love with it. And now uh, while creating uh, this palette, I really really fell for it and this color is uh, Jane's Grey that is a color that uh, Jane Blandell amazing Jane Blandell um, mixed and Daniel Smith uh, were 
creating it as a convenience uh, color is from uh, PBR7 and PB29 which is burnt sienna and um, uh, ultramarine blue and uh, look at its uh, beautiful granulation i like it uh, it's uh, softer than sodola genuine and it uh, it reminds me of a kind of a uh, twilight uh, paint color so um, i wanted uh, um, to play with it more next color is also a color that i don't use it enough and this is Hematite Genuine of Daniel Smith. I really like this color. I think uh, that it has a really interesting granulation. And I also placed it with it uh, in mixes and it worked uh, really great. So yeah, I want uh, to play with it more. So I think uh, that's it. These are the colors. I see that the rudenite uh, flowed into the Italian deep ochre, but it's okay. We can see it still. And uh, yeah, it's very beautiful. So we'll wait uh, till the colors uh, are dried and then look at them. So till the colors are dried, uh, I will show you the painting uh, I, with this, I did with this palette. So I mixed a lot um, this, uh, this is Sedona Genuine. This is uh, Sedona Genuine with uh, Queen Arthur Donbert Scarlet and with some uh, places with um, Piemontite Genuine. I mix here also some, um, try to remember its name, Mummy Backside with these colors. Here it's again Sedona Genuine with Green Burnt uh, Scarlet. Uh, this uh, mix Sedona Genuine with uh, Piemontite. And here is uh, the Tiger Eyes uh, Genuine. And um, I think it was uh, maybe Sedona or another color, maybe a Mummy Backside. Here it's a combination of uh, Van Dyke Brown and um, Bloodstone Genuine and a bit of uh, Terra Verta. Here it's again this mix of Bloodstone Genuine and, and uh, Van Dyke Brown. Here is a Hematite Burnt Scarlet. And here, I don't remember, I think it's a kind of Tiger's Eye Genuine and the Van Dyke Brown or Lunar Violet. I think there was some Lunar Violet here. Uh, here there is Terra Verta, uh, Rich Green Gold, and um, Undersea Green. And here are the Sodolite, uh, Rare Green Eras, and uh, some uh, Cobalt Blue and some... Uh, blue appetite and here is buff titanium some with some uh, bloodstone here rudonite uh, monte amiata and a uh, blue appetite and the leaves are from many greens so yeah i liked it a lot it was uh, fun to paint it i still have uh, to be to get better in painting uh, with watercolors but uh, I would like uh, the result so the colors are almost right and um, I will take these off what I have these ones so one moment yeah
I really like this uh, method uh, of uh, swatching because uh, it looks very clean at the end. Let's peel this one. I really like uh, this uh, washi tape. It's uh, empty washi tape. It feels really easily without uh, peeling the paper with it. So let's take this one off also. One more. So these are the almost right uh, swatches. I really love them. Put it closer. They're very beautiful. So Buff Titanium, Monte Amiata, Goetite, Italian Deep Ochre, Hemet, uh, Queen Acredon Burnt Scarlet, Sadona Genuine, Mummy Backside, Hematite Burnt Scarlet, Piemontite, Rudonite, Luna Violet, Bloodstone, Van Dyke Brown, Tiger's Eye Genuine plus Burnt Argyre as I Genuine, um, Burnt Amber, Rich Green Gold, Undersea Green, um, I forgot the name of it, Zoysa Genuine, Rare Green Earth. Um, this one is uh, Terra Verta, Sleeping Beauty Genuine. Blue Appetite Genuine, Soda Light, not Soda Light, um, Cobalt Blue, Soda Light Genuine, Jane's Grey, and Hematite. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a, a wonderful time and happy painting.